Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about my makeup look today, but it is not just a makeup video, it is also about my cats picking all of my makeup from primer to foundation, concealer, powders, all of that stuff, my lips, everything they asterisk picked out. Um, because I put an asterisk there because it was a very very difficult process to get them to focus it is like what time is it almost five o'clock and they're tired so most of the time the cats were sleeping so I was like hey wake up and choose my lip color or whatever uh, and I know that this I don't know if this is like overplayed or whatever but I saw Kathleen, so I, you know, you've been seeing this trend go around like Google picks my makeup and Tati did one where Snapchat picked her makeup and the whole like my subscribers like control my day or whatever. Um, but I saw Kathleen do a video where her dogs picked her makeup and I have two dogs but I don't trust them around my makeup because I'm pretty sure Holly would just eat them. But I thought, hey, I have four cats. Why not let them choose my makeup? So that is what today's video is about. So if you want to know how I got this makeup look and what is on my face right now, then continue watching. Look here, Miss Harley. You want to pick a primer? You want to pick a primer for me? Hey, can I interrupt your bathing session? Look, look, look at all these primers. Look at them. Aren't they interesting? Do you care at all? No? Which one do you want? Oh, did you like the Too Faced? No, you're going for the Becca one? You just want to be petted? Oh, back to- okay. Well, this is an ineffective method because Martin just wants to be pet. Okay, Mr. J. Look. Look at these primers, bud. Look at them. Tell me which one you like. Tell me what suits your fancy, Mr. J. Look. Look, look at all these beautiful primers, look. Look at them. Look at them. Look at these primers. Which of these primers? Which of these primers? You're leaving me. Don't leave. Don't leave me. Will you pick, will you pick a primer? Pretty please? Okay, I'll leave you alone. Hello, Crow. Care to pick a primer for me? Care to pick a primer for me? Any one of them? Pretty please? Oh, good choice! We're going with the Cover FX Custom Blot Drops. Okay. Pick me a foundation. <clears throat> so we have the e.l.f. Flawless Finish, the Photo Focus by Wet n Wild, oh, Martin, you can pick me a foundation, the YSL All Hours, and the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Alright, choose one, Martin. You're just standing there. Okay, do you just want love? Okay. Come pick me a foundation. Okay, Martin, are you back? You gonna pick me a foundation? Whoop, crow. Nope. Look. If they make, if I, if I clink them together, is that more interesting? Because now they're making noise. Look. Ooh. Ooh, now are you interested? Ooh. Oh, you're smelling the YSL. You're smelling the YSL. Okay, we're taking that one. We're going with it. This is the not focusing camera, but this is the All Hours Foundation by Yves Saint Laurent. So that is my foundation. Okay, now I have two different concealers. I have the Tarte Shape Tape and then this new one that I got, which is the Maybelline Fit Me. So, okay, Martin, your turn. Pick me a concealer. Pick me... A concealer or walk away that's fine look 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 at concealer Martin now crow just wants to play with mr. J crow you helped me last time come here bud look 
Look at these concealers. Ooh. You gonna pick me a concealer? Are you stuck? <laughs> Are you stuck on that thing? Do you need help, bud? Yeah? Oh, Mr. J. Mr. J, come pick me a concealer. Someone. Okay, or just rub on the camera. That works too. Thank you, Martin. Here, you pick. Which one do you want? Okay, you smelled this one twice. Does that mean you want this one? Yes? Here, what if I... What if I do this? What if I set these two here? That's not working. Set them like that. Okay, you pick. You like to hit things off the table. Did you want to hit one of those off and tell me which one you want? Are you not interested? No, you're just going to have a bath? Okay, well, we'll try one more time. With Mr. J. I'm coming, Mr. J. Which one do you want, Mr. J? Here. Let's make a pair. Pick one. Anyone. Either one. Oh. Oh, you going for that one? You going for that one, bud? Do you want that one? Okay. I think this... I think majority rules that the cats like the Fit Me Foundation, or the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. Pick me a setting powder. Oh. Any setting powder will do. Pick one, please. I set them up here, are they more interesting? Look, are they more interesting now? Will you pick one now? No? No, you're gonna lick yourself. Okay. Mr. J. Mr. J. Not being helpful. Will you pick a powder, please? You're just running away from me. <laughs> Look, will you pick a powder? Will you pick one? Are you hiding? Oh, are you picking the Urban Decay? Okay, we're taking that as you're picking the Urban Decay. Great. Thank you for your help, sir. Okay, Harley, we have two contours, two contour kits. Which one? Which one? Which one do you want? There's two of them here. Look if I set them here by you. Would you choose one for me, please? Yeah, you like that one? Are you picking the tardest one? Are you looking at my shadow on the wall? Okay, Mr. J. You seem to be more into this than any of your siblings. Yeah? Alright. You tell me, Mr. J. Two-faced? Or tart? Oh, you pointing towards the tart one? You like the tart one? You're also falling asleep. So we're going with tart. Awesome! Have you chosen a blush, Mr. J? Are you choosing that one? Which one do you want? Okay, we'll narrow it down between those two. You have your paws on both of these. Okay. Okay, Mr. J. Which one? Which one of these? Which one? Mr. J. No, come back. You're my decision maker. Choose which blood. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you gotta make it fair. Okay. Is that the one you want? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Here, let me make them square. Which one do you want? Now you're going for the other one. You don't care. One or the other, bud? One or the other? Which one? Oh. Take whichever one you want. Whichever one you want. I know it's a very tough decision. But it's hot in here. Here. Let me. <laughs> okay. Your paw 
is right in the middle of both blushes. You just move your paw to whichever blush you want. Look. 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 Either one. Either one. You moving? Are you moving? Are you leaving? Where are you going? Are you leaving? Stop leaving me, Mr. J. Choose a blush. Okay, we're going with this one. Great. This is the Wet n Wild Color Iconic Blush in the shade Mellow Wine. Great. Choose a highlight crow. You're sitting by two of them. Harley, you can choose me highlight. Anyone? You're all very close. You're very close. Oh, Martin. Martin, are you smelling the Anastasia one? Crow. You smelling the Anastasia one? No, you're smelling somewhere over here. Ooh, the hourglass, maybe? 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 Maybe one of them? Okay. Both of you have smelled the Anastasia one. So, we're gonna go with that one. We're gonna go with the Anastasia one. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. My, my, what? I know, I shook, I know, I had made the mistake, I shook the treat box, I thought it would get you excited, it did, but now I need you to choose a palette. You wanna choose me a palette, Martin? Crow? Look, look at these palettes, look at all these palettes. Choose me a palette. One of these palettes. Oh, wanna choose me a palette? Oh, Crow? Crow? You wanna choose me a palette? No? Choose a palette? Maybe? Ooh. Smell that one? Hmm? Smelling that one? Martin! <laughs> Crow's making a decision. It's very vital. Oh, but your, pa your paw's on the Jaclyn Hill one. Did you want that one? Cool, we're going with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Martin, come back! I need you! Yeah! Okay, you wanna pick... You wanna pick mascara. Okay, are we going with that mascara? Does that mascara feel good to you? Yeah? Okay, we're rubbing up on the Lash Paradise. Thank you, Martin, for being helpful. Yeah. Okay, girl. Two eyeliners. Take your pick. Okay, you're biting my mark, Jacobs. But thank you, I appreciate it. Will you pick me a lip product, please, sir? Look, one of them even has little paw prints on it. You can't see it on camera, but it does, I promise. Will you pick me one? If I scratch your belly with it, will you pick me one? Pretty please. <laughs> Pretty please. No. Mr. J, will you pick me one? Oh, you smell in the liquid cat suit one? You like that one? Okay, we're going with that one. Okay, so let's start off with primer. So the primer that my lovely cats picked, I think Crow picked this one, is the Cover FX Custom Blot Drops. And this primer really does a good job at doing touch-ups. So if you get oily throughout the day or... You know, you just need to touch up. These are really great for that. But it's also good to put down as a primary base. So if you are um, prone to oily skin, it does a really good job at keeping your skin at bay, at mattifying everything, and making sure that, you know, you don't get too oily. And I'm almost out of this. And I've had this for a while but I really like it. I usually only use it in the summer months because that's when my skin is the most oily. I usually use something more like dewy or more luminous during the winter months just because my skin during the winter gets really dry and then during the summer it gets really oily. So now that that is all over my face, I'm going to go in with my foundation, which is the All Hours Foundation by YSL. Move my mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. And I really like this foundation. It is 
I don't know, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this foundation. I really like it because it is very full coverage and I love wearing this to like, you know, a birthday party or some kind of special event that I'm going to, like a wedding, um, or whatever. And it's definitely not my everyday foundation because it is very, very thick. And I do find that even though it says all hours, maybe it's just me, but after a while it kind of looks a little bit cakey. And I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of, you know, looking like I have a big thick layer of foundation sitting on top of my face. But again, that might just be me. I noticed it a lot when I was at the beach, so maybe that was part of it. Maybe it was because, you know, it was really hot and I was getting a little bit oily. Sorry, I'm like hitting my throat when I'm blending, so it's making me sound weird. But I did notice at the beach when I wore this foundation that I did look a little bit cakey. Wasn't my favorite thing, but again, this foundation is very full coverage. And it's not too heavy. I mean, again, you can it's a foundation. You can definitely feel it on your skin, but it's not too heavy. It's a little thick. She's a little thick, but it's not the worst I've ever had. Um, one foundation that I used to really like, but I don't wear it right now because it's not my shade and I haven't been that tan in a long time. Um, is the Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation. Obviously, this all hours foundation is a little bit light for me right now, but oh well. Um, but the Milani one, I definitely felt was very thick. It was very full coverage, but it was very, very thick. And again, I liked using that foundation as something that I would go and wear, you know, to something nice, some special occasion but definitely not an everyday foundation. There is a hair on my beauty blender. Probably mine or one of the cats. Who knows? So funny enough, the, found, or the concealer that my cats picked out for me is not a full coverage concealer. It's actually a pretty much everyday concealer. It's what I wear now every day instead of my Tarte Shape Tape because I do find that my Tarte Shape Tape is a little bit heavy. Um, especially just for an average everyday wear. So I wanted to get a foundation or concealer. I keep saying foundation. I wanted to get a concealer that was lightweight and, you know, not too, not too intense. So I got the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I do really like it. I do find that it is very lightweight, but it does a decent job at concealing everything. It's also really great for brightening. Um, so I do like using it for that purpose as well. I do find this concealer super easy to blend. I find it blends out really nicely. And I think it does a pretty good job at concealing everything. So for powder, my kitties chose the Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder, and I know that there has been a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, conspiracies, speculations, what am I thinking of, the word that I'm looking for, conflict, uh, drama, whatever. There's been a lot of talk about this powder as it being, you know, re- marketed as a different powder even though it's the same powder as their no longer sold like some other powder by Urban Decay some naked skin powder I think um, but I still really like it um, I don't remember the naked skin powder at all but I do really like the Urban Decay Velvetizer even if they are the same product I mean I still really like this product so if they still sold the Naked Skin one, I would just buy that one too because I do really like how this makes your skin feel. It does make it feel feel very soft and very velvety and I really like that. Um, and I think I'm almost out of this powder, so I do think I'm going to go get another one. So for contour, I haven't used this contour palette in a long time. This is the Tardis Contour 
little palette here and it's got you know highlight shades brightening shades contour and a blush shade in here but i'm just going to use this for contouring and probably maybe a little bit of bronzing or maybe i'll just use a different palette for bronzing now i'll just use this one because i don't want to try to find a bronzer so i'm going to take this little brush here and go into this deep shade and i'm going to contour with that and I haven't used this palette in a long time just because when we moved, I had started to hit pan on my Too Faced Cocoa Contour kit. And I don't know, I just felt like buying another one. So I did. And so, I don't know, I've been using that one. So when I hit pan in that one, I may go back to this one. But for now, I will stick to my Too Faced one. But since my cats picked this one, I guess... You know, I'll use this one for today. And I don't know, I felt like this palette was okay. I felt like it was a little patchy on me. But people have said that about, you know, the Too Faced ones. So, you know, it's all in preference and, and skin type. Everyone's skin is different and reacts to makeup differently. So I prefer the Too Faced one over this one. But, you know, it gets the job done and that's really what matters, right? Do you see, like, I don't know, I just feel like this one's a little bit patchy on me. So I'm going to try to contour my nose with this, which I haven't done. Which makes me very nervous. Oh boy, that's a lot. Okay, we're going to have to work with that. Hey. Her nose is going to be snatched today. Um... Let's see, let me take my beauty blender and try to, uh, try to mend this situation. So one thing about using a palette that I haven't used in a long time is I forget how it reacts, you know? Because I can do that with my Too Faced one and it doesn't make a giant line like that. But, you know, well, we fixed it. It's fine. It's all good. We're good. So now I'm going to take... I'm going to take this kind of brush, it's a little bit angled, and I'm going to go into that banana color right here. And I'm going to pat this under the eye, kind of help brighten things up a little bit. Let's see, I don't know if that did anything, but we'll just pretend that it did. And yeah, so for blush... I have the Mellow Wine Color by Wet n Wild, their color icon. This one is a little bit dusty, as we can see. Um, that means it's going to have a lot of pigment to it, so I don't want too much to come off. So I tapped it into the pan, and I tapped a little bit off on my wrist. And you're just going to very lightly put it on the cheeks. It's a really pretty color, but you do have to be kind of careful with the color icon blushes just because they are like, they're very pigmented. They can get out of control very fast. So, you know, just be wary of that. Okay, now for highlights. So... I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. And I'm going to go for... We're going to go with Moonstone down here. And I'm going to take my fan brush. And we're going to put this on the high points of my cheeks. And I really like this palette. I use this pretty much every single day when I highlight. Just because it's such a great highlighting highlighter I guess all the highlights in here except for the ones that you know this bronze one I think is too dark for me and I've used the um, purple shade a little bit and I like it it's just you know I have to be in the mood to wear something like that so for the brows I didn't have them choose a brow thing because I literally only have like one brow pencil which is the top brow by kiss um, so I'm going to go apply my brows and I will be right back Okay, so brows are on. I am moving to eye makeup. So I have my Jaclyn Hill palette here, which is well loved. And I have highlighter all over my shirt. Um, and I use this palette pretty much every day. 
And since I have a new lip at the end, I think I'm going to do kind of maybe like a pinky toned eyeshadow look. I don't know. We'll just we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to dip into this shade right here. I don't know any of these shade names. I'm sorry about that. I don't even think they're on the back. Nope, they're not. So I don't know what shade it is. It's the top row, the third going left to right. And I'm going to put that in my crease. It's the shade that I usually use in my crease. Okay, now I'm gonna go into this pinky shade down here. And I'm going to put that in my crease as well. a little bit I'm going to be taking let's see I'm going to be taking the shade down here and I'm going to I'm going to define my crease a little bit same color and I'm going to drag that along my bottom lash line. Okay, now I'm going to go into this top shade up here. Hold on. This one up here and I'm going to put this all over my lid. This is kind of this is kind of like a duo chromey eyeshadow. It's got pink and gold reflex in it. And I think that this shade is really, really pretty. I love duo chrome shades. And then I'm just going to be taking this little kind of mauve color down here. And I'm going to put that on my outer corner. Okay, and now I'm going to take this color right up here, and I'm going to put that underneath my brow bone. Ah, and that is my eyeshadow look. So now I'm going to line my waterline with the Marc Jacobs highliner in the shade black. Um, and I am like pretty much out. Like this is as far as I can twist it. Um, so I'm going to have to get a new one. But I really love this one. going to curl my lashes and apply some Lash Paradise. that I have left to apply is my lips. So this is the NYX Liquid Suede uh, Cream Lipstick. So this is just a liquid lipstick in the shade 04 or LSCLG. Or is that just, yeah, I don't know. It says 04 on the bottom, so we're just gonna go with that. So I didn't have them choose a setting spray, 
so we're just gonna skip that so that is the completed look so that was a lot harder than i thought uh the makeup part obviously not hard the trying to get my cats to seem interested in anything that i was doing was definitely very difficult but i enjoyed it nonetheless i really like how this look turned out it's very pretty it's very pretty natural i think so I guess that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Go down below, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get notified of when I do upload videos. And if you're interested in me doing more makeup videos, please let me know. If you want to see more of my animals, let me know also. But I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!